name is Tito Bacardi and we are standing right in front of the Bacardi building. This beautiful building was built in 1962. Uh, when uh, in 1960 all the Cuban Bacardi properties were confiscated by the government. Then we moved out of Cuba and we built this building as the headquarters for the United States. Uh, all those flags that you see there are all the countries that Bacardi has distilleries. We also have the other building that was built in 1970. And uh, both buildings have, have won many, many architectural awards throughout the years. So we are, this is a, a Miami landmark. Everybody knows the Bacardi building. Okay, all the Bacardi buildings throughout the world are very unique. So when we, when we build this, we commission a ceramic artist from Brazil. His name is Francisco Brennan. And uh, he put together 28,000 tiles right here. He, he stayed here for about six months, one by one. And in 50 years, we haven't lost one tile yet. Yeah, this beautiful building is the headquarters for Bacardi in the United States, but it's also the home of the Bacardi Museum. And I would like to invite you to the museum to see all the beautiful things that we have there. So here we are at the Bacardi Museum. And uh, <clears throat> it goes in sequence. The first panel shows the, the foundation of the company, and it goes year by year through the present day which is the activities that we have in the past year. Okay, this is the first panel and uh, it represents really the foundation of the company. That little house is the first distillery that my great-great-grandfather, Facundo Bacardi, purchased in Santiago de Cuba in 18, 1862. And that distillery was full of bats. So that's why our logo is the bat. And it goes in sequence. We have uh, mainly the first part is uh, uh, our life in Cuba, the independence war, that the family was very much involved. And uh, we have uh, many of family pictures of all our family that uh, took part of the foundation and uh, grew this company to be what it is today. Okay, and this wall represents all the distilleries that we have around the world and all the products that we own. This is my, my Cuban cubiculo, and it has all bottles of Cuba, most of them donated by all employees. And here we have uh, some things about the Bacardi Cup that uh, was born in 1927. This is a Bacardi bag for the cup that one of the sailors donated to the museum. This is from 1967. These are some pictures of uh, me with the trophy. I never won it, but I gave it away, so I deserve a picture with the trophy. And this is a replica of the sculpture that they have at the Coral Richard Club, outside the club, that Bacardi donated to the club as, uh, to thank them for being the host of the Bacardi race for 82 years. No, not 82 after Cuba, from 62 to now. I think the Bacardi Cup is uh, the most prestigious selling regatta in the world. All the best sailors compete for this club. They don't win any money. It's only the prestige. 
and the family sense of being here. And uh, the company is very, very proud of that. And uh, we really don't make it to make money or anything like that. We make it to, uh, to preserve the race that was born in Cuba. And we're very, very, very proud. Well, we put this together uh, 10 years ago, mainly because uh, the majority of the family members, they are young and they were born in this country. So they, they don't know too much about their ancestors. See their great grandparents, and so we put all this together uh, for them and to train our new employees and and, uh, and just to, for ourselves because we were so proud of this. This is, uh, I think, is the only liquor company of this size that is still family-owned. Okay, this uh, fellow, I, I like to call him my cousin, uh, putting the museum together, I went through all pictures, and I found one uh, 150 years old, and it has a picture of this guy selling Bacardi on the street. So, you know, that's the first time we saw that, and uh, we made a replica of that photograph, and that's what it is. Yeah, at that time, 150 years ago, this is the way we used to sell Bacardi. He went to the streets, and if you want a drink, maybe you pay two cents, three cents, he gives you a paper cup, he pours some rum in there, some Bacardi rum in there, and here you go. Yeah, this, uh, this carpet has been here since uh, we opened the building. And, uh, many artists have come in just to, to look at, at the carpet. Uh, they bring uh, students from the university, they are in architecture, and ju just to look at this and that one too. So those two things are, are they are like 50 years old. I guess at that time they made things right. Eh? Now I'd like to take you to the best part of our building, which is, guess what, the bar upstairs. This is our executive bar, and uh, all the products that you see there are, are we own them, our company owned. And this is where we get our best ideas for the brand. This is a famous mural. It was painted by Antonio Latorno, a Cuban painter in uh, 1938, when we first opened the Bacardi offices in New York, in the Empire State Building. So this was the painting uh, to decorate the lobby. When we move here, we move the painting to, to this building. It's very famous. It's in all the books and all. Uh, Latorno spent most of his uh, artistic life in Asia, mainly in the Philippines. So I think that that's a Philippine uh, landscape. See, as you know, they have sugar cane, like Cuba and all that, so. so their faces are like Asian. See, we, we, uh, we put that back there because this is the path of the airplane to land at the airport, which is back there. So uh, we were thinking about putting the Bacardi logo so you can see it from the plane. But the roof of the buildings, the way they are designed, see we cannot put any painting there. So we put it in the plaza. And at night we put lights so when you're landing or taking off, you can see the Bacardi bath. It's beautiful.